does Search but you stay lost We are, we are reaching for the stars But we're making this too hard And I wonder where you are Mr. E.S. That's the part you always show Cause you're too curious Maybe you should take it slow Mr. E.S. That's the part you always show Cause you're too curious Maybe you should take it slow Yum, this is my crock pot pork. I love this dish. It cooks in the crock pot all day long and it's gonna give us so many leftovers. It's gonna shred and it's gonna taste like a Korean barbecue. And then I have some peppers and onions all seasoned up with salt and some chipotle seasoning just for a little bit of smokiness and a ton of flavor. I love this. We're gonna have it tonight with either some tacos or I might make like a rice and lettuce bowl. The opportunities are endless. So I'm gonna cook this on low for eight hours. Hello, I just wanted to formally welcome you to this vlog. I am about to eat lunch and I wanted to show you what I'm having because after I eat, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about just eating and food and stuff like that. But this is my lunch. I have two tomato basil rice cakes with some smashed avocado, tomato, and feta cheese, and then a big old side of chicken. Pretty decent calories for lunch today. Nothing too crazy high, because I'm just sitting and working all day long. So um, I'm gonna eat this, and then we're gonna chat in a little bit. What's up? So I have some motivation I want to spit your way. I got so motivated today to motivate you because I see every single day people wanting to reach a certain goal, but they're not doing anything differently. They're not changing their routine. They're still going out to eat, getting the same shit they would have ordered if they were on a diet or not, and they can't figure out why they're not losing weight. They're doing the same cardio. They're not changing anything. Maybe they've made a drastic change, like you're cutting out carbs, but that's not the right thing to do. You need to look at your habits. What do you do when you go out to eat is this ruining your progress do you go out to eat and you see something on the menu and you're like well I want it so I'm gonna get it and you don't care to think if that's the choice that's going to align with your goals what are you doing for your cardio have you switched up your cardio have you switched up the type of cardio the speed the intensity you need to switch it up. If you're used to doing only steady state cardio, switch to do some hit cardio, add in some sprints in there, go fuck around with the battle ropes and the bike, take a spin class. Every single fitness class does at least one free trial, if not a whole week, because they know, at least the good fitness studios, they know that if you go and try it, you'll be hooked. So a lot of them want to give a free seven days so you get hooked and you buy their products, but you could bounce around and do different spin classes, different fitness classes, boxing classes, it doesn't matter. You need to get out of your comfort zone. I see too many people just in their comfort zone. And so as you're watching this video today, I do, you know, yes, I do a lot of full days of eating and, and stuff like that, but does that really motivate you? I don't think so. Maybe it'll motivate you in that moment to eat healthier, but is it motivating you to like get outside of your comfort zone? No. So I want, I just really felt the need to kick you in the ass a little bit and challenge you and ask you, ask yourself, am I really doing anything different to get different results? If you're not pushing it, if you're in the gym and you're texting and you're just like walking around, why do you think anything's gonna happen? You need to switch what you're doing. So many people come to me as a coach and, oh, I've been tracking macros for this long and I don't see any results. That's not enough. Just because you've tracked macros for X amount of weeks, 
or years or months does not mean just because you've trapped them that you're doing it in the right way, that you have the right macro split. Are you eating enough? Are you eating enough carbs and fats and protein? Oh my God, eat more protein. Every single one of you watching this probably, unless you're my client, probably is not eating enough protein. You need to eat protein. You need to be smart about the food that you're eating. If you truly think that you have tried everything, have you tried to take out gluten? Have you tried to take out dairy? Have you tried to hire a coach? You just have to do something differently. So that is my motivation to you today to think about your routines in fitness and eating and your lifestyle. What can you do differently? Are you someone that eats at night? You're a nighttime eater, a nighttime snacker. You tend to just pick on everything at nighttime. Maybe you're having a glass of wine or two every single night. Oh, but I've tried everything and I can't lose the weight. Have you tried to cut out the wine? Probably not because it's not comfortable. If you are not getting more and more uncomfortable in your fitness journey, then you're not doing it right. I So just to talk about me for a second, I am not looking to lose any more weight. I'm really just looking to maintain and just continue to be active. But that still isn't enough for me. I still switch it up. I don't just go to F45. I don't just do the gym. I don't just do my at home workouts. I just recently went to a brand new fitness studio, a brand new fitness, like it was a group coaching type of class. And I have been tr wanting to do this class for months. And I've just felt like super anxious about it because it seems like a hardcore badass place. And I was like a, li a little intimidated. Me, someone who's a fucking crazy psychopath, I'm intimidated because it looked legit and intense. So finally I got out of my comfort zone last week and I went and it was such an incredible change that I signed up. It's like my sixth gym that I belong to, but I don't care. I feel good. That's where I choose to spend my money on because it makes me feel so good. And I know that I'm gonna just see different results because I'm switching it up so drastically. I do not do the same thing every week. I take different fitness classes. I'll do a spin class. I'll work out at home. I'll take a rest day where I'm just going on walks. I'll go to the gym and have a crazy intense leg session. I'm always switching it up. Never does one week look the same to my to my last week because that being doing the same thing, why would I think that's going to change me or give me any more results? Yes, I don't want to like lose a drastic amount of weight, but I just want to I like to challenge myself. I want to be able to eat up in a balanced way and maintain a lean physique and in a muscular physique. And of course, I won't be mad if I build up my butt anymore, you know what I'm saying? So that's my message for you is to look at your routine, your lifestyle routine. How do you eat at home? What do you do? Do you drink? Do you eat? Do you snack? Do you limit your carbs? Maybe that's the reason why you're not seeing results because you're not eating enough carbs. You're not giving your body enough energy. So your body is holding on to all of your fat. Look at your cardio. Are you always doing the same type of cardio? Are you always doing a certain amount of days of steady state, a certain amount of days of hit? Switch it up. Are you doing the same cardio equipment? Are you doing the same intervals? Switch it up. When you go to the gym, are you nervous to go squat? Go fucking squat. All right, are you taking too long of a rest period in between each workout? Take less of a rest period. Put your phone on airplane mode. Put a timer on when you have to rest 30 seconds and go, go, go. Get this shit done. So I'm challenging you. Think about your routines and get motivated to actually create a change. And if you do create a change, do the workouts you don't want to do. Lift five pounds more than you've been lifting. Take five seconds less of a rest. Go a little bit faster and harder on your cardio. You will be so thankful and happy that you did because you'll start to see results because you switched up your routine. And I need to point this out. My skin color is the same color of my sweatshirt. This was an accident. I should not be wearing this. I'm so washed out, but it's freezing here in Florida. It's like 60 and I'm cold and I went for a walk and I was absolutely freezing. So I needed to throw something on and I just look like a big old boob. Meh. All right, well, that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. I will see you for dinner for my tacos, which they smell really good right now. So my stomach is grumbling because all I want to do is eat those Korean barbecue tacos. Call Luna whenever you're ready.
Luna. Luna. Come here, girl. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Bill. You're gonna have to bring Luna in after. Right. Come on, guys. Let's go, everyone. Hey, inside. Come on. Everyone inside. It is such a nice night. Oh my gosh. It is, what day is it? It's the 15th, it's a Tuesday, and it's chilly, oh. It's chilly, we're actually gonna get some like, some more patio furniture, I guess not patio furniture, but like outdoor furniture for our backyard. And we're gonna do like a fire pit, cause January, February, and March are like the best months in Florida. It is so chilly today. I love it. So I'm just out here enjoying a glass of wine. I was just really feeling like a glass of wine tonight. I don't drink wine too often. Around the holidays, it was like, it was often. And then I was like, okay, Christina, this is becoming a habit because every single day I was like, I need wine, I need wine. And I don't want it to be a habit, um, but with days that I just am like, oh, I need some wine. Give me some wine to relax. Wine makes me happy. So I am allowing myself a glass of wine tonight. I am drinking Bogle Chardonnay. I really like it. It's super cheap. It's $8.99, I think Brian said at the store. And it's crazy because at the restaurant, the glass is, I think, $15 at the restaurant we go to. The way that I'm able to drink wine and maintain my physique is simply because of my metabolism and all the work that I've put in prior. You can really have that balance to live a life of drinking wine and eating good food, but reeling it back in to your diet and not letting, like this one glass of wine is not going to turn into a bottle of wine, which is gonna turn into eating out in desserts. I'm gonna stop at this glass of wine and I'm gonna enjoy my dinner tonight and tomorrow's gonna happen and I'm gonna have a great day. Um, so if you struggle with that all or nothing mentality, I do have a course that is helping 40 plus women, I think 43 women total are in that course right now, and every single one of them has been having major wins. They are no longer overeating and snacking. They are completely changing their habits. They can go out to eat and on the weekends. Like It's so exciting to go into the Facebook group on the weekend because they are sharing how they're going out to eat and they're able to enjoy what they want at the restaurant, but then go right back to eating healthy and clean when they get home. It's incredible. So if you struggle with that and you want help with that, I do have that course available. It's the Mindful eating course um, the link will be in the description box but let me know if you're interested and I can talk further about that and then um, I wanted to announce that I am launching a new eight-week challenge it's going to start Friday the 28th I believe um, it's gonna be in like two weeks I want to start uh, nice and strong for February get a good little sexy body for Valentine's Day but most importantly what this challenge is gonna focus on is creating your summer body now because summer bodies are made right now the body that you're gonna live in in your bathing suit when it gets nice out you're what you're doing right now is impacting that body. So if you want to feel confident in summer clothes, in shorts, in tank tops, in a bathing suit, if you're going on vacation, like whatever, the clothes are gonna get smaller when it gets hotter out. So you might as well get in shape now and not be struggling to do a crazy fad diet when it's already summertime. So that's really what the challenge is gonna focus on is creating your summer body so you can go into the summertime, into the warmer weather, feeling so confident so amazing in your skin so I am launching that today I'm announcing it to social media so YouTube is actually hearing it first so if you're interested click the link in the bio to purchase I only accept around 20 to 25 women because I like it to be a smaller knit challenge I like to really know the women and learn about them and it's a family um, so you get workouts um, you get videos of every single exercise you get weekly check-ins. I customize your macros. So you have an actual plan of what you should eat be based on your body, your weight, your height, your active, all of that, your age, everything. 
Um, so if you're interested, it is a huge discount from my one-on-one -on -one fitness coaching. So if you've ever wanted to work with me, my challenge is a great way to do that. Um, so yeah, my challenge starting, launching today, it's gonna start on Friday. I think it's the 28th. I can't remember off the top of my head, but all the details will be in the description box and I hope to see you there. But I'm gonna enjoy my husband. You're so far away. I know. How are you doing? Doing a little better. I did some Insta stories today saying that I haven't really been able to eat much, so I haven't really gotten to lift. I don't know if you can hear him. He's talking kind of quiet, but he's been sick. So he's just uh, hasn't been eating much, hasn't been able to go to the gym. He can't enjoy this glass of wine with me because he has like extreme acid reflux or possibly GERD. I don't know what that is. It's a disease but of acid. I'm going to enjoy this wine, watch the little sunset, and... I will show you my dinner and then that will probably end the vlog because I don't want it to go too long. Um, I was <laughs> gonna record like a really quickie workout at home tomorrow and I was gonna put it in this vlog, but if the vlog goes too long, I'll just put it on Instagram for you. So I will see you for dinner for my little, my little taco bowl salad thing. All right, here is my big old salad bowl dinner. We have shredded lettuce, I have my pork, I have some tomatoes, I cut up some bell pepper, Salsa, guac, cilantro, and lemon juice. Babe is making some tacos. We're gonna have some potatoes also because there's only two tacos. We have rice too. Oh, okay. Going to have rice, and that is what it looks like on the inside of the crock pot. It's so good. All the veggies, I just shredded it so easy. It, it cooked for eight hours on low. Look at these big chunks of onion. Oh my god, just like so moist with that Korean barbecue sauce. Yum! Babe, your tacos look so good. You gotta put some salsa on that bitch. I'm cut some cilantro right now. You're hogging my dinner. I'm gonna add some chili lime on here just from, for some salt. And then I'm gonna have this nice big salad. When I have wine, I typically try to have like a lower carb, lower fat meal just because wine is like, you know, you're really just drinking carbs. And realistically, I probably just had a half of a glass. I didn't have a very big pour at all. But I still like to just keep it on a moderate level because if I drink, I always like to eat. So I like to be mindful of my eating. So I'm gonna eat this. We are watching a new show on Netflix called You, and it's so good. So I'm gonna go in on this and um, I'll either catch you in the next vlog or I'll see you tomorrow for my quickie workout. Not sure how long this video is going to be and I don't want it to be super long. So I might just end it here. So if I end it here, thank you guys so much. Let me know if you're interested in signing up for my challenge. All the links will be down below. This is the first day I'm announcing my challenge and I'm only taking about 20 to, 20 to 25 girls. So if you want to secure a spot for my next eight week challenge that is opening today. Click the link in the bio. I'll see you in the challenge. Catch you later.